Welcome back to SchoolNet. In this video, we will discuss how to publish and assign an assessment. Remember to access SchoolNet through Google. Click on the Google Apps in the upper right hand corner of your Google screen. Scroll down, locate Pearson SchoolNet, and click to open. Before we start the assessment publishing process, it is important to note that once you publish an assessment, you will be limited in the changes that you can make, so please make all changes prior to publishing your assessment. First, locate the assessment area in your blue sidebar. Click the arrow to expand this, locate Test, and click on Find. To narrow down your results, Uncheck every box in the test stage area with the exception of private draft and click go. Locate the test that you would like to publish and click on the name of it. In the upper right hand corner, click on the ready to schedule button. Notice the pop-up that comes up reminding you that you cannot make changes after publishing the test. If you have other changes you would like to make, click Cancel, but if you're ready to publish it, click OK. Notice that the Ready to Schedule button has changed to a Schedule button. Click on Schedule. This will take you to the Schedule a Test Test Settings page. In Section 1, we will need to determine the administration. Start by adding your start date for the assessment. Notice that it automatically fills in the end date and the scoring due date. Either of these can be changed to meet your needs. Next, we have test results and scoring. Click the first box if you'd like to prevent students from launching the test prior to the start date or after the end date. This can help with test security. Next, click this box if you'd like to prevent students from accessing the test results until after the end date. Again, this can help with test security. Since WCPS does not support Scanit, leave the third block unchecked. Next, you'll want to assign the assessment to your classes. Click on Select Assignment under Assignment for your students. Most of you will have many sections to choose from down here. If you'd like to select them all, check the box that says Section. Or if there's only specific classes you want to add it to, simply put a check in the box next to the name. When you are done selecting classes, click the Save button. The next area that we need to take a look at are the online delivery options. Please take notice of the two notes that they gave you here. First, that it's highly recommended to preview your test and test nav prior to administration, and also, any new or modified test will need to be published before it can be administered or scored. You are provided with a unique online passcode. This can be changed, but please note that every test in the system must have a unique passcode. Do not check the require use of secure tester application. The next two boxes are automatically defaulted. They allow the student to know that there is indeed a test waiting on them when they open SchoolNet. And when they have completed it and they can review their test, it will display a notice that they can do so. You may also click on Allow Only Assigned Students to Take the Test. This means that only the students in your classes can take it. No one else can. You can also restrict the test to specific dates and times if you wish. For item features, you can track and display the student response time. This will show up in the reports. This is a great feature that many teachers do find helpful. You can also decide if you'd like to scramble the question order or scramble the answer choices. As a reminder, if you'd like to learn more about any of these features, simply hover on the eye next to an item for additional information. In student-facing features, allowing students to pause and showing scores upon submission are defaulted to be on while a time test is not. You may change these options depending on the purpose of your test. Most of these features can be changed after publishing. Once you have completed selecting your test settings, choose Save and Publish. 
The test will automatically begin publishing in TestNav and you will receive a notification when it's ready. Please note this will happen in the upper right hand corner. If you decide to change your scheduling options, choose Schedule Information in the Test Details and click on Edit Schedule and Settings. If you make any changes, you will be required to republish the test. Please avoid republishing if students are actively taking the test because it can cause an error. In our next module, we will discuss how to duplicate assignments. Thanks for watching.